welcome to my channel. My name is Delilah and usually I am talking about like fashion sewing and you know doing pattern reviews and things like that but I picked up a pattern for quilting. So this one I selected is from Lo and Behold Stitchery and my daughter is graduating from nursing school. So I decided I'm gonna make a quilt for her. But I'm not new to quilts. I have some quilts back there. But you know what, those quilts back there, I never really followed a full pattern. So with this one, it has all the cutting instructions. And you guys, there is a lot of cutting involved. My inspiration on how I picked the colors was I had my daughter uh, pick some fabrics. I selected like three fabrics and then I said, which one do you like the best? And she liked this one the best. So all I did was pick out some colors that went with this. And I actually got the colors off of Everyday Fabrics from Etsy. And she sent me this pack that you're seeing right here. Beautiful colors. It's actually called Malibu is what she named this color pack. I love these colors. They look like they're calming colors, kind of modern. And here I am, I'm just gonna get to work and I'm just gonna start cutting out all the fabrics. Oh, but right here, I got these art gallery fabrics. And so I'm cutting off the selvage edges so that I can use them in another design. I like to make, well, I'm keeping the strips because I really love to make hot pads. And so if you are new to my channel, I do have a few quilted hot pads and a playlist right here for some other quilty projects. It actually took me a few days to get all the pieces cut. Well, I decided I'm gonna cut all these background pieces and then I'm gonna start on some, some of the squares because I need to take a break from cutting. So I got all of these squares done and then I realized like laying them down, oh, I need to trim them all. So I was like, oh, you know, I'll just do that part later. But then I come back to it and it's like, well, they're still not trimmed and I guess they're not going to trim themselves. So I need to do that now. I'm not going to put it off any longer. I'm curious to know how long it takes you to finish a quilt. So this is gonna be like a traditional throw. 
which I think is, it's like almost a twin size. And I've been working on it for a couple weeks now, but I don't have that much time because I work during the day. But I could say, I think I've been working on it maybe like an hour a day. So let me know how long it takes you. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. This rotating mat really helps a lot, but I still, I'm gonna need to change my cutting area. I think I'm gonna have to do it on my kitchen counter where the table is higher. And I'm also gonna just take a break from cutting right now and move back into sewing. This is the part that makes me nervous because I have all these pieces that need to match up correctly. And so I'm just gonna line it up with the creases and we will see what we get. This next block I'm working on is kind of tricky. I had to put labels on all of the strips and hopefully it comes out on the straight and narrow. Okay, so now I have these. I kind of finally figured it out. Hold on. <laughs> There's a, that's a toy lizard, you guys. That's not a real lizard. It's one of my daughters. Hold on. Okay, I just shut the door. Now, with this block, and this block was really, it it got to be a brain teaser and I had to keep like repicking and stuff, but it's all good now. So with quilting, there's like a ton of ironing, but these, it's so hard. Like I'm like, this is the um, controversial question. How do you iron your seams? Do you iron them all to the left, to the right? Do you open them? Well, me, I didn't have time to iron them <clears throat> with open seams. I just think that takes way too long. And so I just decided I'm just gonna iron them one way and we'll see how it works. And I was having a hard time, but you guys, I got this new tool. So I'm gonna This wooden block that I'm holding is called a clapper. And what it does is it absorbs the steam from the fabric and it leaves you with like super flat, crisp seams.
so far the blocks are looking really nice and the seams are laying flat so I'm really happy with the results so far and the clapper is from Right Angle Manufacturing and you can find them on Etsy also going to leave a link directly to their shop in my descriptions tab below if you enjoyed this video then I invite you to check out my mini quilt binding tutorial and make sure you come back because I post videos every Wednesday and this video will be continued next week so i hope you follow along my journey with the deco quilt thank you so much for watching and until next time happy sewing bye guys